for our last video when we saw the character trailer for the Cell Saga, it was obvious that it was going to be the Boo Saga. So, hey, look, this is what we got going on right now. It came out about an hour ago. I just dropped my mom's off. So we're going to get this done before I got to go pick her back up. We just finished our Spark and Zero giveaway. So uh, if you missed out on that, you probably got one more chance uh, to get Spark and Zero before it comes out. Um, just make sure to subscribe to the channel and look out for any notifications, especially going to my um, my social medias that's in the description box. Um, regardless of that, we got three minutes of content. Usually it's two minutes, one minute. You got a whole extra minute type. So, you know, I'm a, um, stop. Shoto, Shoto, come here. Show you my voice, Shoto. Shoto, you wanna watch it with me? You wanna watch it with us, Shoto? You wanna watch the trailer with us, Shoto? No, you just wanna leave me. You just purring, you just like, Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck, man? Join me! <laughs> you know, it's cool, pretty cool. amazing. While I've been in other worlds, I've done nothing but train. Goku! <laughs> well, I'm not whoever this Gohan is. Great Zaman! I promise you that. Uh. Yes! Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of my favorite outfits from gohan bro i personally like this fit this fit is fire but the gray saiyan man joint without no, the mask is just that. and without the mask and cape it's fire bro like this what i don't know what it is bro and then when the the green gi come off bro and it's the all black ones Bro, that is so heat. I don't know why I like it. What it looks like you got plenty of energy. I oh, I can't see. Oh, they all gonna add this dude. It's it. It's up. Oh no. If I drop my guard for even a second, I'm toast. Yeah. Bow before your new master. Let's go. That's his intro. That's fine. I'll give you a fight. That's my shit. That's yo. Go on. Even though I hated going on this se this season, but these scenes here when he did that, he was like, yeah. They hit that Kamehameha at the end of that joint, and he hit um the Majin Buu egg joint. He did that. He did that shit like three times, bro. That shit was so fire, bro. This shit is so fire. I'll give you a fight. Getting beat. You're going to pay for what you did to Kakarot's son. Not a shred of you shall remain. Goodbye to you all, Trunks. And yes, even you, Kakarot. Cool, 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 cool. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. I really like fighting you. Who wants to fight me? You see how everybody has a deflection that's different? Goku's in Super Saiyan 3. I'm not sure about his other um his other forms. He's uh deflecting the beam with the axe fist. And he's hitting that joint up. Volleyball hit. That's cool. That's cool. You want to hurt this decision? Then we'll take you down. <laughs> mm. You annoying. Die. I don't remember him speaking. That's fire. I really don't remember him speaking at all. Yeah. I really don't remember him speaking. <laughs> if that's you his alt. Die. You are 
annoying. We're gonna make you cookie. Whoa, you pissed me. Okay. I know I've said a lot about the voice actors in this game, but let's be honest here. That's not the voice actor for Majin Buu. Well, for Super Buu. Why does it sound like that? And I don't remember. No, that's not that's not how he sounded in the um no. I think we've seen him in gameplay from demos. I don't think that was his voice. Die! You annoying. We're gonna make you cookie. Whoa, I don't like you that. Me I, 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 I really am not feeling that. Fight you. But I'm gonna hey, kill you. we'll see what's going you on here. Win. Kill you. We'll kill you. You know, I'm not gonna say I don't like it. It doesn't fit to my um. That's a nice picture. It doesn't fit to, to my knowledge of how Boo sounded, but I feel personally somewhat it is still cool sounding. You know, it fits his character, so I can't really say too much. <laughs> I'd say my strategy was quite successful. You've got no honor. That sounds other good. people's power like you haven't pulled out all the stops in your misguided effort to beat me v Vegeta Give it here Thanks Vegeta I All right You're an incredible warrior boo Y'all saw that? You're With the block off, and then as a retaliation, you can go for your Incredible time. warrior, boo. It was That's you cool. against the universe. Ah! You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more. But good. See ya! See ya! Ha <laughs> We're gonna watch this one more time straight through. Evil Boo was added. So basically, what I said before, um, it seems like Bobbity just I forgot this dude's name. He's so butt. On from my side. He's so butt. I really forgot his name. But him and the other dude that sucks energy and stuff like that. Um, those two I'm assuming that he uses as tax. I don't know what his ultimate would be. That would be really interesting to see. I, I don't remember them saying that gt will not be in the base game i don't remember that we still have two more trailers left i'm thinking that it's probably going to now lead into super probably show us two um super trailers maybe the tournament of power and um the destroyer tournament uh universe six or seven i am hoping for gt characters to be in here you know, it doesn't have to be a large roster of them, but at, at the very least, super, both Super Saiyan 4s, Omega Shinrons, um, the Super 17, or maybe the adult versions of Goten, Trunks, stuff like that. Maybe I wouldn't really want it, but others would. But besides that, oh yeah, no, I'm baby. So the regular, the regular roster that's always in games. So that's quite interesting. I, I, I have no idea what these other slots may be if they're not adding GT and the majority of Dragon Ball. I don't think they're gonna bring that many Dragon Ball characters because most of them can't fly. Most of them are, I'm not gonna say like dead ass weak, but they wouldn't really fit. Having that much of Dragon Ball characters would be uh, overkill. Would really be overkill. Dragon Ball Z is done now for the character slots. They might add like little side character. You know, that's what I would do too. I would do a side character DLC. You don't gotta get it if you don't want to, but it'll be like the Freezer Soldiers. Like it'll be like the the DLC side character soldier pack. You know, I personally feel like they should go the movie route now, but I think that's gonna be a DLC also. There's so many options that they can do. We, we just don't know what they're gonna choose now. They already have the idea. Right now they're like this in the office. If you have any ideas on what they're gonna try to probably put out next, put it in the comment section down below so we can talk about it. But definitely um, with this roster here, I feel that the game could be really good. I think if any other game just came out with just this roster that they're showing us right now, a lot of people would be satisfied. Um, but because this is supposed to be the predecessor of Tenkaiji, I think 
with that uh, 24, 25 more characters or 27 more characters are necessary in a way. I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, thank y'all for coming through and watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for coming through and watching. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, stay, stay in tune for this video because the next segment will be the tournament um, explanation about what they're trying to do for game modes and stuff like that with the game, um, the tournament mode and other game modes also. We definitely have something beautiful happening right now. What I could say here is that I'm sitting here hoping that we have majority of the tournaments. I think the main three that we need, World Tournament, Cell, Cell Games, and Tournament of Power. At the very least, those are the main three. Others will be very, very nice to have, but if you can't add that, whatever the case may be, I think those main three would be the main thing. Um, I'm not too knowledgeable on what has been said in the past about what they are trying to add into the game when it came to tournament modes but i do expect um local play for tournaments where you can play by yourself against computers or friends that come over or whatever the case may be and online also i think online would be a very good addition in that way mainly because you know tournament stuff like that regardless of that you know we definitely got bandai namco europe giving us this video it's unlisted so you had to go on the website to actually get to this youtube video in battle mode you can fight online and ranked or stop it right there. you know me i'm gonna be pulled battle mode. now we got super training we got world tournament we got battle so this is what the main menu is gonna look like do you see what's at the bottom right there you got battle tr and training. So you got regular battles, whatever the case may be. And then you got challenges and missions. And then you got episode, episode and custom. I don't know what custom mean, but the episodes might mean like the, you know, the custom missions. I guess challenges and missions are different too. So this is how the main HUD is going to be. That's pretty nice. And then, you know, you see Goku flying down. Stuff like that. But you can fight Look online. That. Huh, that's cute. So depending on what you go on, what you toggle through, it's going to be a different scene in the back. I actually like that. And, ranked or and like I said, oh, wait. That's battle, though. Online offline. The matches or play offline against a CPU or your friends in the hyperbolic time okay. chamber stage. With ranked matches, you can say. Oh. Okay. Player match, regular, unranked, and we got ranked, and then we got ranks. So we have leaderboards, I'm assuming. So you can see who is the best in your server. Set your matchmaking conditions to find your battle rules, single battle, so you can put it into whatever. That is all the hyperbolic for time chamber rank, stage. Correct? With ranked matches, you can set your matchmaking conditions. Yes, it is. It is for rank. Oh, really? Now, I think this is ranked in general. I don't I don't think they're going to separate single battles and duos and um other joints. I don't think they separate in it. But I to find your you're definitely wow, you're definitely going to have a real rank system where you see that where it says similar ranks. I'm happy that they have connection quality. Match finish rate. What does that mean? The time that you have? opponents with balanced character cost restrictions and check the leader to make conditions sorry. to find your ideal opponent. BP with single. balanced character cost seen. restrictions single. and check the leaderboard rankings. In world tournament mode, you can create or join a tournament online with rivals around the okay. world tournament world That's or it. play offline in a tournament created for you. In this mode, you can create tournament. Wow, create tournament. All right. Um, player character restrictions, CPU character restrictions, time limit, stage, match type, character selection. Let's go. Uh, customization. HP recover after match is crazy. No flying is crazy, but I get it. Um, loss of out of bounds. So what we have right now is the World Tournament, Cell Games, Other World Tournament. Wow. Universe 6 versus 7 Tournament. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tournament of Destroyers. Makes sense.
uh, Tournament of Power, and the Yamcha games. Oh, pretty cool. Okay. Okay, okay. In this Are they going to show the background of each one? No, I don't think so. Create your own tournament rules. They? Or play an iconic no, they're not. I thought in the background where um, whenever they hover over, you know, the World Tournament Cell game, stuff like that, when they hover over it, the background here is going to change to um, like the Cell games or the World Tournament showing us the stage. But it's not. Um, these Why are the pre built for you in this tournament. Can... So, for if you do automatic world tournament, um, you have no player restrictions, but CPU has restrictions. Okay, time limit of 180 seconds. Weird stage, so you can make a tournament and have it on any stage, which is such a... yo. What about this, boys? What if we have stage customization? I know that's a lot. I know it's a lot. I do. I, I'm asking for so much every single time. But that just sparked the gears turning of stage customization. It doesn't have to be like you create your own stage by scratch like Mario Maker. But, you know, having a template of, let's say, Planet Namek, and you're able to put stuff like move the water here. You can have the same exact stage, move mountains and have it closer to a uh, freezer spaceship. And you can move it around to make it look like a different part of Planet Namek. Holy shit. Or you can mix, mix and match it as much as you want. You could have earth trees on Planet Namek. Fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, I don't think it's possible to add that in this game right now, unless they already had that idea of doing that, which I feel if they did, they would have been said that maybe for the second game. That's fire. I didn't even think of that until now. Um, match type, single battle. So now you can do doubles, I'm assuming, and um, what do you call it? Doubles, duos, and trios, and quads. Character selection, any. So you can limp, you can minimize your character selection in some type of aspect. Customization on full recovery after a match. Okay. Flying on and out of bounds. You create your own so, tournament so. rules or play. Ah, now look at that. HP recovery after match 20%. Single battles, cell games, obviously. 120 seconds. It's fucking ridiculous. And it doesn't seem like you could, um, you can fix it. You see right there where it says confirm, cancel. I'll, I'm not sure after you press that, you can go and edit it, but usually it's stuff like this where you can just press triangle and edit. Play an iconic tournaments from the anime. See, they did that too fast. They really don't want you to pause for real. So now we have un other world tournament. There we go. We do not have the other world tournament stage. Yet, they have it where it's just random stages. Got From the animation, yeah. each tournament comes with its own rule set that may oh, adjust Oh, wow, it even shows the... Oh, that's so fire. What is this, the world tournament? That looks cool. That looks cool. I see that they didn't add in a bracket expansion. So, I remember in uh, Rage and Blast, and was it Tenkaiji 3? Well, you can have 16 slots. For some reason, my goofy ass loved it. Even though I most of, now I, I forgot which one where you was able to actually watch the fights. I think it was Tenkai G3 where they gave you a choice to either watch the fights or not watch them. I'm not really that sure. I'm hoping they give us a spectator mode where we can even watch the NPCs fight, you know. I like to be a commentator sometimes and stuff like that, especially with um, NPCs or even players. It's victory conditions and more. Today, we'll follow Great Saiyan Man and his oh, quest great for victory in the world tournament. Victory conditions include defeating your opponents the traditional way or by sending your opponents out of bounds. Persevere and you can rise up the ladder to achieve victory. Hey! Hey! Was it? Oh, that's crazy. I got a little too high. I thought it was more. Oh, that hurt. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That's one thing I'm really not feeling is that Rick does not have a team-based system to it. I like team fights, at least duos. Uh, come on. At, at least add duos. Like, come on, bro. Like, to a rank system? Like, I, I, would, at, I would at least like to have... 
there's a lot of Dragon Ball duos. Jace Birder, um, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Goten Trunks. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of duos. Hercule, Majin Buu. There's a lot of duos in Dragon Ball that they're going to have in this game. So having a rank system with that, I feel would build the immersion of the game way more. And I don't know. I think it's just me, I guess. But just having solos in rank doesn't really tease to me. I'm gonna still like it. I'm, I'm, a, I might do it, but if it's not teams, I'm not gonna take it no type of serious at all. I'm gonna just play because I, oh, if I just wanna play with one character, which is not a lot of the time. Like I, I promise you, it's not a lot of the time that I play playing with one character. I'm gonna wanna play with multiple characters all the time. So now, what I am wondering also is, how are you going to knock somebody out of bounds? How would that work? Would it be something like? Um, a key, a key thing. If that person loses a bar of key, if they get smashed down like that, and they flip back up at the last second, would that be like a stamina thing? I don't know. But there is a lot of questions that needs to be answered. Bringing in the duos, like imagine playing Bobbity and Majin Buu, Bobbity and Deborah. You feel me, like? It's just something about it. And then if you have even the quads that I want, you can have Bobbity. Um, I forgot the other two dudes that Vegeta and Goku fought. Those two dudes, they are so irrelevant. I really forgot their names, but you can have them. You can have Gabora and you can have Majin Buu. That's fine. Yo, and that could be in the ring. Like, that's fire, bro. Like, I feel like that's fine. I even feel like if you have that, you should be able to also go for something like three Cybermen and Nappa and Vegeta. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I mean, or having the duo of Nappa and Vegeta. I mean, there's so much you can do, bro. There's so much you can do with that. I really feel like that should be added in rank. Duos, trios, and quads. No, at least duos. At least duos. I can't ask for quads. That's too much. Eh, duos. Ugh. Whatever. No, if y'all want to have a full conversation with me about Spark Zero or anything like that, pop out on the streams. It's in the description box down below. DJ, DJ underscore Miller, level 29 on Twitch. Go check that joint out. We over there. We get lit. I ain't gonna lie. I upload almost all my streams on there too. So you want to catch past streams and joints like that. Go and check it out. We'll be talking wacky over there. I definitely definitely be in the community, man. It'd be it'd be lit, yo. It'd be lit. Yeah. I'll see y'all next time with it. Have a good day, y'all.